Hello guys and welcome back to this channel. Today we are looking into the equation x cubed equal to 1 and our goal is to find all solutions of this equation. So the first solution you already can see it is x1 equals to 1. So if you plug in x1 equals to 1 into this equation you see that 1 equals 1 so x1 equals to 1 solves the equation. But the question is, are there also other solutions? And that's what we are going to find out here. So let's rewrite this equation as a polynomial. So we can also write x cubed equals to 1 as x cubed minus 1 equals to 0. And now you have a polynomial on the left hand side. And finding the solutions of this equality is now equivalent to finding the zeros of the left hand side's polynomial. And of course we already know one zero already, it is one. So this means for this polynomial we can also factor it as follows. We have x cubed minus one equals to x minus one times some other polynomial, let's call it p of x. Yeah, so as one is a zero of this polynomial, we have at least one factor, which is x minus one. And we don't know yet what the other polynomial is. It is a polynomial of degree two, because our original polynomial has degree three and we already factored out a linear polynomial. So p of x is a polynomial of degree two. So how can we find out what p of x is? We can apply polynomial division. So we can try to calculate p of x as follows. We have x cubed minus 1 divided by x minus 1 as a polynomial. And the result will be our p of x. So now we are asking ourselves which polynomial times x equals x cubed. It is x squared. Yeah. So x squared times x equals x cubed. So we can already subtract it from here. And then we also have x squared times minus 1, which is minus x squared. And now we are subtracting this polynomial from our original one, which then results into 0 and plus x squared. And now we are asking ourselves which polynomial times x equals x squared, because again our goal is to remove this x squared it is plus x. So plus x times x is x squared. So we can again subtract x squared from here and also x times minus one equals minus x. So this results into zero because x squared minus x squared is zero. And then we have zero minus minus x, which is plus x. And now we can bring this minus one also here below and we see we have x minus 1 remaining and also x minus 1 as our divisor. They are exactly the same so here we need plus 1 because plus 1 times x minus 1 equals x minus 1. So we can subtract x minus 1 here which results into 0. So this means this polynomial is our p of x. Hence x cubed minus 1 equals x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. And how this is helping us? So finding the zeros of our original polynomial is the same as finding the solutions of 0 equals x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. And as you know, a product is always zero if one of the factors is zero. So if x minus one equals zero, but here we already found x one equals to one. So we are remaining with the situation where x squared plus x plus one equals zero. And this is a polynomial of degree two. So we can apply our well-known formulas in order to find the zeros so if we have a polynomial like this and the factor in front of x is called p and this number is called q, then the zeros are minus 
p over 2 plus minus square root of p over 2 squared minus q. So this gives us up to two zeros of our polynomial of degree 2, where the factor in front of x squared is 1. This is the case already here, so we can just apply the formula and we get x2 and 3 as our second and third solution as minus 1 over 2 plus minus root of 1 over 2 squared minus 1. So this simplifies as minus 1 over 2 plus minus the square root of minus 3 over 4. And now let's stop for a moment. In the real numbers, the roots of negative numbers do not exist. So if we only allow real numbers for our solutions here, the only solution is 1, which we have already found. We cannot derive any other solutions out of this procedure we have applied here. But if we allow complex numbers, we can still continue from here. Because then we can write this term as minus 1 over 2 plus minus this square root of minus 1 times 3 over 4. And this is minus 1 over 2 plus minus i, our complex identity, times the root of 3 over 2. And these are complex numbers. So all in all, here on the left hand side, the solutions are 1 minus 1 over 2 plus i times root of 3 over 2 and minus 1 over 2 minus i times 3 over 2. These are three solutions. And the second two solutions are only there if you allow complex numbers and if you only restrict yourself to real numbers, then you get only one as a solution. I hope this video was useful to you. If yes, please comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this, stay tuned, until next time.